Hello, this is a geek must have with a video tip on how to change your desktop background when you have a lot of icons on it, like I do, which makes it difficult to do videos, to something like this, which is much cleaner, or to something that looks like this. In order for you to have a nice looking backdrop like this, you first have to create the actual backdrop with your logo and how it looks. Now there are all sorts of image editing programs like GIMP and the likes, but I end up using a tool that I've known for a long time, believe it or not, PowerPoint. And in PowerPoint I'm able to copy and paste my logo onto the page and then change the background of the page to be a graduated background. The next thing I then use is Snagit. There are plenty of other uh, screen capture programs, but I happen to use Snagit. And Snagit would allow me to capture this by highlighting the area I want. I highlight the area I want. And then I save it to a file that I later use for the background. I like using PowerPoint because I can put multiple iterations of what the backdrop is going to look like and compare one to another and tweak them a little bit by moving things right or left. It's a personal preference, but use some form of an editing tool to actually create your backgrounds. After you've created your backdrop and saved it into a file format, preferably PNG, you can close out your tools. The next step is to load that backdrop that you just created onto your Windows desktop. And you do that by right clicking and going down to where it says personalize. A window opens up and if you've already selected some images like you can see here for Geek Must Have and Phoenix Learning Labs, you just click on one of those and it loads. But if it's a brand new image that you want to load, you click on Browse, locate the image on your system, and then say Choose Picture. What I'm going to do is switch from the Geek Must Have background to the Phoenix Learning Labs background. The next step is to get rid of all these icons that are on the desktop. You probably don't want them to appear in your video while you're doing a recording of your desktop. Again, you start out by using the right click and going to where it says View. And under View, right here where it says Show Desktop Icons, check it off. And voila, like magic, your screen has been cleared. The last piece of cleanup that you need to do is to get rid of this taskbar at the bottom. And you don't want to actually delete the bar, you just mount, make it go away while you're recording your video. So you right click on the taskbar, you'll see taskbar settings, you click on that, and up here where it says automatically hide the taskbar in desktop mode, it's shut off right now, turn it on. And now you have a completely clear desktop to start with when you're doing your videos. Occasionally you're going to need that taskbar back in order to pop up things during one of either your training or tutorial classes. You just move down to the bottom of the page, your taskbar temporarily pops up, you can select the thing you want to talk about, and when you move your mouse off, the taskbar goes away. This gives you a really nice, clear and crisp screen to do your video presentations on. Thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed this video. Have a good one.